Hi class, we are going to be reading a story called Dolphins. This is a nonfiction story and it is about, about dolphins. It's written by Emily Burke. The focus question is, what is a dolphin? And then we have some words to know and we'll go over those as we read. Now we know a lot of times when we have nonfiction books, especially when they're about a science or social studies topic, we have a table of contents and that is true here. So we can look at the table of contents to tell us what this story is going to be about or to find different topics within the topic of dolphins that we're interested in. So here we go, the introduction. Dolphins live in every ocean in the world. Some even live in rivers. And then we can see down here, there's a little heading on this really adorable picture of a dolphin. It says, this kind of dolphin lives in a muddy river. Over time, its eyes have become weak because it can see, it can't see through the mud. So it doesn't really use its eyes that much because it can't see through the mud. That's interesting. And here's another beautiful picture of a mother dolphin with her baby. Most dolphin mothers are pregnant for about a year. Some can be pregnant for 18 months before they give birth to a baby. So it says dolphins are mammals. Dolphins are mammals. They can keep their body warm. Dolphins mothers, dolphin mothers make milk for babies. They do not lay eggs. Instead, their babies are born live. Dolphins are mammals. Okay, that means they're warm blooded so they can keep their own bodies warm. They don't lay eggs. They give birth to live babies. They feed their babies milk. Dolphins breathe air through a hole in their head. So we breathe air through our nose and sometimes our mouths. Dolphins have a hole up here called a blow hole and that's how they breathe air. Dolphins breathe air through a hole in their head. Most of the time, dolphins breathe a few times a minute. They can hold their breath for more than a minute when they need to. And it says that the hole that dolphins use to breathe is called a blow hole. Then it says wowzer. And when I see wowzer with an exclamation mark, I know that's probably going to be a fun fact, don't you think? It says Dolphins don't sleep for hours at a time like most animals. Instead, they rest part of their brain for 15 to 20 minutes at a time. Because parts of their brain are still working, dolphins stay near the surface while asleep. This way, they can get air when they need it while they sleep. Dolphins even keep one eye open. Wow, it sounds to me like they never really get a good rest. Oops, I need to go back. I missed a page. All about dolphins. Dolphins are different sizes. They can be big or small. Do you know? There are almost 40 kinds of dolphins. Killer whales or orcas are the largest. They can be 10 meters long. Maui are the smallest type of dolphin. They are only one meter. That's four feet long. That's not very long. So here we have the orca. We have Riso's dolphin. We have the common dolphin. I think that's the one we see out when we go to the beach and we see the dolphins in the ocean. Okay, let's see. Some dolphins have only have four teeth. Others have more than 200 teeth. Dolphins do not use their teeth to chew. They use their teeth to grab onto food. They grab food. They use their teeth to grab food when they eat it. Okay, what do we use to grab things? We use our hands, don't we? Dolphins sometimes scratch each other's skin with their teeth. That's called raking.
And that seems to me like if a dolphin's doing that raking, that's probably something they do with their family members. Like if somebody scratches your scratches your head or your back or something. Oh, and look, here's some more dolphins. Each side of a dolphin's tail is called a fluke. So here's one fluke and here's the other fluke. Dolphins move their tails up and down to swim. A fin on their back keeps them steady. A flipper on each side helps them steer. Like when you steer when you're riding your bike, you use your handlebars, right? The dolphin uses its flippers. So look at the parts of the dolphin. We have two flukes, we have a fin, a blowhole, a mouth, and two flippers. Aren't they cute? Uh, dolphins and sound. Dolphins are smart. Dolphins use sound to talk to other dolphins. Dolphins also use sound to find food. Dolphins use clicks, whistles, and squeaks to talk to each other. Scientists think each dolphin also have its, has its own sound. And they use sound to find food kind of like bats do. They make noise and the noise echoes back to them. It's called echolocation. Oh, look at, oh, look at all those dolphins there. A group of dolphin uses a bait, a bait ball to hunt. A school of fish forms a tight ball. Some dolphins swim around the ball to keep fish from swimming away. Others stay below to keep watch. Dolphins take turns swimming into the ball to feed. When a dolphin hunts, first it makes a clicking it makes clicking sounds. Next it listens and waits for echoes to bounce off the a fish or squid. Then dolphin uh, the dolphin can attack. So these dolphins are acting like a team to swim around the fish and make the fish come together. It says up here I didn't read the heading I should have. Some ways the dolphins hunt. And then look, dolphins swim around a bait ball. Here they are. They're so cute, aren't they? Dolphin groups. Dolphins are playful animals. They blow, they blow rings of bubbles and they even play catch with pieces of seaweed. Oh my goodness, they have so much fun. Okay, dolphin groups. Dolphins live in groups called pods. They live in pods to find food and keep each other safe. Dolphins move from pod to pod. Sometimes they change pods more than once a day. That's interesting. They have more than one group of like friends, huh? Most pods have as many as 12 dolphins. Mothers form pods with other mothers to protect their babies. Even after they leave, young dolphins may return to swim with their mother. Some female dolphins even return to raise their babies with their own mother. How cute. So the babies get raised with their grandmother. Young dolphins stay with their mother for as long as six years. And this is our conclusion. Now we see here's these four dolphins here. Hector's dolphins, white beak dolphin, bottlenose dolphin, and Indo-Pacific dolphin. Conclusion. There are many different kinds of dolphins. They all use sound to talk and find food. Most dolphins form close groups. Dolphins are amazing animals. Okay, and these are some of the words we, went, we read. Female is of or relating to or being a plant or animal that can make babies, eggs, or seeds. We know to grab is to take a hold of in a quick, strong way. We usually grab with our hands. And we learned, and we already, some of us might have already known, mammals are warm-blooded animals with backbone, hair, or fur. They make milk, and they have babies that are born live. Pods are groups of dolphins or whales that live together. And to protect is to keep something safe. And to steer, that's to turn or move in a new direction. Okay, I thought that was a really nice story. I hope you enjoyed it. And we are going to be learning a lot about dolphins this week. Thanks for joining me.